I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Because eventually somebody's going to get on here. It is very hot in Florida right now. Maybe people are busy. Maybe nobody wants to hop on and talk to me. Come on, let's say hi. Let's spend Christmas Eve together. Hello. I'm live, yeah. You can put a shirt on and come say hello if you like. You just got some doing how was that? Did you guys have fun opening gifts? Hi. Hi everybody. Hi mom. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're in a cooler state than I am. Hi, Thrift You. Hi, Connie. You guys want to open stuff? It's like Christmas. I don't know what I, I don't remember what I have. <laughs> you want to say hi? Okay, Um. this yeah. is empty. Is that your glass? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you have to bend down. Oh, Hi. there's Gabriel. Tell them Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> they see your sideways head. <laughs> you crazy. I'm you crazy sorry. boy. Sweat. It's sad. freezing in Alabama. Well, right now, Gabriel, what does the thermometer on the wall say? The air conditioner thing. Huh? It's 79 in here right now. The windows are open. And um, we're supposed to get a cool front this evening, but it won't be cool until in the morning. I'm about to turn my air conditioner on. <sighs> so, because there's not like a leaf moving outside. 16 degrees. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow, you guys are chilly. Wow. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm sweating to death. Ooh, I'm opening some good stuff. All right. Hi, Lisa. We're opening stuff here. I just got on. And that lady better... Oh, about to say. Oh, what did you say? Your eight-year-old... Your grandson is playing Fortnite? That's cool. 35 and snowing. Oh, a white Christmas. Hi, June. We get a nice warm um, Christmas Eve, but tomorrow it's supposed to be nice. So if you like actually got a, like, a sweater for Christmas or a nice like jacket or something, you'll be able to wear it. <laughs> Oh, he lost his dang mind. All right, guys. So, now that a few of us are here. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Merry Christmas, Eve. <laughs> oh, you guys, guess what? Speaking of Eve, um, my mom has had her, her little baby chicks and, uh, like, an incubator that she bought. And, um... I guess you don't know which chicks are going to be babies. You have to like wait a certain amount of time and then you check them with like a really strong light. So I think she said like six of them were going to be chicks and one hatched today. T technically, if the time was right, they were supposed to hatch tomorrow, but one hatched today and I was like, oh my gosh, its name needs to be E. <laughs> Oh, you're doing a paint by number, waiting for your other chicks to hatch. All right. I was wrapping presents. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, girl. All right. So, I have a mix of things. I have things from three, three stores. Um... And 
I actually, it was like a spur of the moment thing on Monday. It's like the first Monday really that we've had that it hasn't rained and that's the only day our flea market is open. Um, so, and then um, the kids didn't go to school. So I was like, nobody has to take the kids to school. I'm gonna go over to the flea market. So I actually have a few things from the flea market as well. So I don't know if I don't blabber on too long, maybe I can show you guys that. If not, it will be in another video. All right. So we went over, Aaron was technically Christmas shopping and he wanted to go to the antique store. And I was like, uh -huh, but I want to go too. So we went over to the antique store. He went one way with Bianca and I went the other way with Gabriel. And I found just a few things because this one in particular is a little out of my price range for resale. Let me see what you guys said. The chick's name is Eve, I think. Yeah, that's why I told um, my mom to name it Eve. But anyway, so he went one way, I went another, and I found a few things there. Um, I spent, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if Gabriel's watching in his room, so I can't say um, something I got. But one of the things I found were these really cute penguin salt and pepper shakers. So for people that love penguins, like this is your thing. And these are like a, like a, they're not milk glass, but they're like a painted on white. So I thought those were adorable. So I got those. And then I, I was surprised I really found anything there, but I got the little bird. These probably would have went with a little um thing you can set them in um, <laughs> um it, i was just reading a comment my friend's like that lives in my old area was like where is this and he lives right by it and he doesn't know but um hi charlotte merry well merry christmas eve girl oh you were thinking reindeer for names oh that's true because you got well didn't santa have eight reindeer but you got you got a you got a whole crew there, so you can do it, mom. Um, but anyways, these would have probably had like a little thing that you could set them on. But still, I love the luster. Like I was really surprised at, at myself that I sold the little lusterware egg cup looking thing last week. Hi, what was it, Lorianne? Hi, Lorianne. So I got the birds, and then this. This is super cute. I mean, I mean, not super cute. This is exquisite. <laughs> look at this little elephant. Did they look like woodpeckers? They might be. Look, I don't know what that would have been, but it says triple mini elephant base is what it says. That's what they labeled it. And it's made in Japan. But look how cute they are. So I got that there and then I picked up this tin I thought I love that graphic she looks she looks like a saucy lady look at that mm -hmm. so I picked that up and then the last thing I got from there this I paid up a little for but man I thought it was interesting they took the tag off, so I can't remember what it what they had it labeled, but it's like it's missing its spoon, and it's the really the see-through sort of milky glass, but it's not really white. Like look at the bird coming out. Hi, Amy. I mean, I thought it was really neat. Oh. So it might be. It might be for something like that, um, but it doesn't have a spoon. But it's so interesting. So, um, I got that there. And then the last thing I picked up was this swung vase. I can't, I think this is called like the bittersweet orange pattern or the color. Um, so I picked this up there as well. 
So that is what I got at, at isn't it great? Um, at the antique store when Aaron was Christmas shopping. And then I went, me and the kids went alone. We went to a couple of antique stores because for one, I was steady trying to find um, something I had to find, not had to, I wanted to find something for my aunt and uncle. There was something specific I was looking for for Aaron and something specific I was looking for for my mom. So I knew the antique store was going to be my best chance because, well, yeah, my best chance. Um, hi, Beverly. Merry Christmas Eve. All right, so here's the, the tree topper that I was showing in my Shop With Me video, the Fancy Feast tree topper. It does have a cat on the front. This was 50% off. Has a, I collect tree toppers, so let me show you here. It has a cat right there, and then it says Fancy Feast 2009 on the back, but the cat is everything. So I got that. It has a cat, yes. All right, now let's open some stuff, sh shall we? That sounded dangerous. Oh, what did they, oh, I know what it is. It's not dangerous. I got a cowbell that was painted. I had some cowbells way back, if you guys were at that sale, um, have I, no, I, I haven't heard how Virginia's doing. I tried to email her and she hasn't answered. Um, but I did speak with D um, from Thrill of Thrift. And she said um, that she knew of, like Virginia had spoken to her and Virginia had just hurt her finger. So it wasn't like a broken arm or anything when she fell. Um, but I haven't personally heard from her. But anyways, I had a few sales back. I had a bunch of cowbells that sold. So there's, I have some people that like cowbells. Then, gotta open the present. We got, oh yes, I love this. Look at this little box. My camera is not the best in this mode. It's a little silver, little silver box has like etching on the front there. And I don't think it says anything. They have a price sticker. I was going to say, if it says anything, it's probably like India or something on the bottom. Nope, it doesn't say anything. But, oh my gosh. And it looks like it's the, um, like the pearly background. It's not like butterfly wings or anything. I think it's like the shell, like a mother of pearl or something. So we got that there. Let's open the next one. If I could play Christmas music in my video, I would. All right, so I got this pretty painted, and obviously it's an ashtray, but if you do art and stuff, you could fill it with water because it's glazed on the inside, so it's not gonna get, you know, in the thing, and you can rest your paintbrushes on there, or you can use it for whatever, you know. Or, hey, I have someone that commented the other day and said they collect ashtrays. So it's signed, um, oh, that was upside down. It says handmade in, I can't tell. It almost looks like it's gonna say road, like Rhode Island or something. And then it's just like, <laughs> so it says by, I don't know, Ica Ross Pottery. I don't know, but that would be great. Look at that, look at the floral. And it's purple, my favorite color. All right, let's open another gift. What did we get? Oh, you know, <laughs> I got this and I was like, I really like it. 
but no one that I, when I bring these kinds of items to sales, no one seems to be attracted to them. No one really buys them. So I end up sticking them on eBay. So I'm like, Alex, why'd you buy that again? But I just really liked it. I like the shape of the pot. I loved the green glaze on the inside. And I loved all the little people on the outside. So I got this at the antique store. And then, boy, they wrap this with tape and everything. This place is serious. What else did we buy? Oh, this guy was cute. Look at this guy. At first, from a distance, I was like, oh, it's a Joe Camel mug, but no, that's not Joe Camel. But I thought he was cool. Yeah, wasn't it? You, I wouldn't, like, looking at that, I wouldn't expect to have the glaze, that glaze on the inside. So that's like a monkey guy with glasses on. It might be a drunk monkey. Possibly. <laughs> but he's still cool. <laughs> it looks like your brother-in-law, then Charlotte. You have to have that mug. All right next present. Ooh, I'm sweaty over here. Oh, this guy. Okay, so this guy just has a little signature on the bottom. Like a little, it looks like Roman numerals of the number two. And these don't sell for a ton of money for me. And because they're not like the official, official, um, like a Toby mug. But still, there's people that collect them. So I picked this up and a lot of these items that you're seeing now will be available um, in my live sales on Sundays. And this Sunday I was planning on because a lot of you guys said like you would like to have a sale still even though it was like Christmas weekend, um, you know, because this year is a bit different and we don't all get to, you know, go travel and do the things you would have normally have done that would have taken up your time, you know. All right, the next thing I got, I think this is like, it was pretty and it was pretty darn cheap there. But I loved the green and the pink stripes. And it's a little, it's just a little Austria picture. Do I have, did I have a red one of, oh, these? Um, I, I've had a few of these guys. I've had like the real Toby mugs and I've had the, you know, these here. And I've sold them. They just don't, don't sell for like a ton of money anymore. But, um, yeah, we got a little green or green and pink. And it has like an orange stripe. Those are very, the black with the green and the, the orange. It's like deco -y to me. All right. Can anybody guess what else is in here? You just never know what you're going to find at the antique store, right? I don't even know what it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one I got was 50% off. And even at 50% off, it was still like $10. So this says, I think it's it's either Ike. It's probably Eichwald or Eichwald, Czechoslovakia. But it's this beautiful basket. It's a beautiful, beautiful basket. And I mean, the, the only thing like when I was there, I definitely looked it over because you know, you're spending $10 on one item, you know? And it just has like the teeny tiniest little thing right there. But I love this detail and I love the flowers. And I especially love that it has purple. Got that there. What are you? Oh, this was cool. This was cool. This didn't have a mark on the bottom, but, and I'm like, I'm, I'm almost like, was this, is, when I first saw it, I'm like, is this metal? Like, is it enamel? But it looks like redware on the bottom, but look at that. 
The only thing that is going on with it is right back here. That looks like a brand new chip. How like bright and vibrant that is. It's not the color of the rest of it. But man, that's neat. that up there and then the last thing from that store is this okay and this I kind of took a chance on because once I got lucky with this kind of stuff other than that I really don't know like Asian pottery and stuff like that very hard to you know do the markings and things so once I got lucky and it was only because I just looked at it and I was like that's old and i bought it for like 249 or something like that at hi kcatx at salvation army and it sold for like over 300 dollars. so when i looked at this i thought to myself i think that's pretty old i just don't know the colors or how old so but is this beautiful piece of uh, pottery here So, it's like a carriage or something. I thought it was really neat. Pretty cool, that one. All right. One box down. Right? I like those colors. All right. So, then, we, me and the kids, even though I had been there a week earlier, um, we went to the place where my booth was because again, I was looking for something specific. So I was like, I went to, back to where I used to live because there's more. Hi Virginia, we were just talking about you. Are you okay? We were just asking, everyone was asking me about you. Um, so we went back to where um, we used to live because I had more options. So one of the things that I got that was in a shop with me video, hi Christina, was this cat pillow. It's like some kind of um, needle work, you know, but it's got these cats on it. And I'm like, every time I look at it and I don't get it, but this time I ended up buying it. This little cat pillow with like supposed to be like stained glass windows and birdhouses. Yes, I got the pillow. So, we got that there. All right. The next thing I got, I thought this was cool. It says, made in the USA. It's a little oil can, but it was hand painted. Has a snowy seam. And I love these snowy scenes. I have two smaller, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, paintings up there, oop, there, that are thrifted. And they were little um, snowy scenes. And I just love that. I love that. So, and it's signed. And it says 96 on the bottom. So, found that there. That was a new thing. Ooh, I hear jingling. Just come to your I know you were showing me. You got a lot of snow. Oh, this was cute. This you would hang on your wall. It's a little transferware piece, but it's a toothpick holder. Or you can put it in your bathroom and you could put like um, Q tips or something like that in your bathroom. Or you can put it in your kitchen or wherever, by your fireplace, and you could put matches or something. I think it might have been for matches, not toothpicks, but, you know, you could use for whatever. So, got that. Hi, everybody coming in. Then, I hit a booth that, I guess, got some new little bells, and I don't normally get bells. Unless they're, like, I find, yeah, very Victorian. Unless I find them interesting and like maybe figural. I don't normally get like a regular bell. So we had this little girl and she's like reminiscent of like a frozen Charlotte. And then the dress is her bell. And she has Japan stamped on the inside. 
Hi, Michelle. Merry Christmas. Why is Charlotte needing to be safe? Oh, you've got flooding. Oh, Charlotte. Yep, she got a little Dutch cap on. She reminds me of my little frozen Charlotte girls. All right, the next thing I got, actually there was another one, but I thought these were really cool. Nice bright color. And it's like a case type glass. Oh, hi from Nova Scotia. Hi, Jen. I'm just showing a little haul video and we're opening stuff. Next thing I got is this. Look at that optic. Woo, girl. Look, like this is going to be my coffee for tomorrow. That's going to be my coffee cup. <laughs> so I thought that was beautiful. I'm going to have a lot to clean up out here. Do you like that piece, Peterson? All right, let's open the next one. Oh, is this the next? This is the match? Okay, kind of like a match. Look at this. So these two together, I was like, oh my gosh, someone's going to love that. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, wait. No, Stephanie, I said, I remember your last name. Girl, I said hi to you. <laughs> All these people popping in. Um, but yeah, them two together, I thought they were pretty cool. And someone might find this interesting for Halloween or might find this interesting for spring or whatever. So we got those. And it wasn't ginormous to try and ship. <laughs> because you guys know I don't have my booth anymore to stick the bigger items in. Orange is your favorite color. All right. All right. So here's the next item I got. Now, I don't normally pick up the white hobnail, the plain hobnail Fenton, um, unless it's a very interesting piece or unless it's super cheap because you can get it fairly cheap regardless. But I've never had this vase before. So I've had little smaller ones and little baskets and little bowls, but I've never had this vase. So I wanted to pick it up and look at that. Look at that. Look at that swooping. Woo. They nailed that one. So that, that one. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of stuff. Do you guys want me to go grab the stuff that I got at the flea market? Because we're, I have four things left. All right. Oh, hi, Javier. Thank you. Here's the, oh, here's the boy to go with the girl. Oh. So, little figural bells. One of my subscribers, that's what they collect as well, is figural bells. So, um, all right, the next one I got, oh, it's a little bunny. It was a bunny bell, and look at the glaze. I thought that was really cool. And it doesn't say where it's marked or anything, or where it's made. But I was definitely loving the glaze, and that it was a bunny, you know? It's a little piece of pottery. And then I found these in a booth that were left foot, two broken toes, Wait, let me see what that says. Oh, no. Oh. Last I heard, Virginia, was that you had hurt your finger. Like, you broke a finger. And I was like, oh, good. I'm glad that's it. But I didn't know there was more. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. All right. I found these in a booth. And the booth was 75% off. Everything there. So these are Hawaii, but they're also treasure craft salt and pepper shakers. It does have a little bit of a boo-boo right there. But some brown watercolor will speed that right up. And then if you didn't want them to be like Hawaii um, themed, you could turn them around. So, okay. So I guess that was it from those places. And if you give me one second, I can go grab my box 
from, oh, wait, that wasn't it. I was about to throw a piece of paper. Hi, Linda. That had something else in it. Oh, I got this bell. Okay, so it's not figural, it was hand painted. See the flowers? And the colors kind of reminded me of my mom, so I grabbed them and I like this big chunky knob up here. So, so I got that. All right, so now I will go sneak over here and grab my box from the flea market. I broke something the other day in here. But I will show it to you anyway. All right, let me crawl back in the screen. Woo, okay. Love the big bird. Oh. That was, um, all these ornaments are like special ornaments, so they, they mean something. Check this one out. Let's see if I can get it off the tree. There we go. You can see that. Little baby Bianca sleeping. That was her, because she's a little Christmas baby. That was her baby picture when she was born. So, whew, it's a little warm in here. Okay, so I get up at the butt crack of dawn, um, regardless anyway. And on Monday, I was like, okay, ooh, I have time. I'm up in time. Let me go to the flea market. Because that dirt floor guy I tell you guys about, he says, he, his little thing is, he gets there at 7, and he says, you can have first dibs on stuff, but you have to pull it out, all the stuff out of my car. Whatever you grab, you can go through first. Will I get there early? His behind's not even there. I was like, oh man, like he's got like good stuff. He sells it pretty inexpensively. I mean, I mean, I do spend quite a bit when I go there, but it kind of averages out to be pretty cheap. Um, but I can find cool stuff for you guys because I don't have like thrift stores that I can check all the time. I have to either go to the antique store or I have to go to the flea market to find something cool. Unless I get, unless I get lucky at the thrift store and it's hard for me to check because they're like an hour away. So I was kind of bummed that he wasn't there, but there was a lady across from him that had all this stuff all over the floor. And those are the kinds of places I like to look at because they look like they don't really care. You know, it's not set up like a little museum, like it, like it's an antique booth. They, it doesn't scare me as much. Um, so I go up to her and I'm trying to listen to her talk to people so I can kind of gauge her pricing. And I couldn't really, couldn't really tell. Um, so anyways, I, the first thing I pull out or pull from the pile on the floor was let me see this and oh this all right so the first two things i grab and let, I, again i was there super early so that's probably why i found them was this big blue cobalt i wish the light was i don't know if you can see course you can't the blue through it um but it's this big blue owl it's not marked and i haven't done a lot of research i've been so busy so i don't know who the blue is it blanco well i was gonna say i don't know who the i haven't even taken like a picture of it to try and research it i just have had it in the box so i got this guy he does have a little chip right there but it's smooth so it's pretty old you know so I got this, so I held that up to her, 
And then I got this beautiful beast. Look at this. It's, look how big that is. It's, I mean, so I hold these up and she says 15 for the pair. And I was like, okay, 750 each for the flea market. That's freaking awesome. For this giant thing, even better. And when I was there, mind you, it's early. It's, it's dark outside. So I could hardly see them. But she goes, she goes, oh, $7.50 for the pair. She's like, if you like paperweights, here's the better ones. Those are signed. And I was like, yeah, but you want like $52 for them. So it brightens up a little bit. And I took like eight trips back to the car to put everything away. Because one, I forgot my OLC, my old lady cart. No offense to the old ladies out there. <laughs> So I forgot that I had my backpack. I didn't have Aaron wasn't with me. I didn't have any extra hands. So I had to go back and forth with my little cart. Well, I would have gone back and forth with my little cart. I had to walk back and forth with just holding everything. Um, so, you know, you think it's a bookend? Oh, the owl. So by this time, it's like lightening up a little bit, you know, outside. And I was able to see that it has a sticker on it right there for one and two it has a signature right there on the bottom can't tell looks like it says raffaelli or something like that but it says ogetti italy and when i looked it up it kept bringing up murano like something i don't know but i was like okay that's signed and that's pretty cool but whatever you know, because she thought the other stuff was better on the table. And then I picked up this nice fish. And I asked her how much this fish was. And she said $10. No, wait, she said $15. And like I said, it was dark. So I was trying to feel and I could feel a chip on the, a little chip on the tail. And I, so I was like, no, that's okay. This one has like Unless I'm seeing other colors. I swear I could see blue in it somewhere, but I think it's reflecting. It's like an amber or something. Uh, oh, there's blue in the tail. I was going to say, I know I could see blue, but when I blocked the light I, or put it up to the light, I could see it better. <sighs> I fumble on my words. I'm sorry. There's no edit button. Um, so anyways, here's the bottom of this guy. But so when I felt that, I was like, no, it's okay. And I put it down. She was like, you don't want it. I was like, no, it's broken. You know? And, um, especially for $15 and I, but I've always, I always tell you guys, I'll buy it. Like if it has a little chip, sometimes if it has a crack, if it's cheap enough and if it's a cool item that someone's going to want, even though it has some kind of flaw, because maybe they want it to fill their collection until they can get that pristine item. You know what I'm saying? Like I've always told you guys that. So I put it back down and she's like, well, I would sell it for 10 if someone wanted to buy it for 10. And I'm like, well, that's great. So I kept looking. So I get all my stuff and I'm going and I'm paying for everything. And she's like, do you want that fish? You could just have it. And I'm like, have it. Are you have it. And she's like, yeah, I just take it. And I was like, Oh, Oh, well, thanks. You know, like I wasn't expecting that. I, I mean, not at all, but I'm grateful, you know? So hi, my husband's nightmare. So anyways, I got this for free. So that brings my average cost of goods down a tad. Then I picked this up there and I love finding these, but normally the antlers are, or the whatever they are, are broken. And this guy was in good shape and he's small enough to ship. Usually they're giant. Like I have a couple of big ones in, out here and in my room. We named the one out here Giselle, but she's not made out of wood. Free fish. You got a free fish with perch. Yeah, I did. All right. And then, and it was funny because she just made everything on the floor. She was like, oh, it's, it's from an estate and I just need to get rid of it. And I was like, okay. So I'm just kind of looking around and I'm looking through this little box and it has a bunch of figurines in it. And I open up this tissue paper. And I see these shiny little clear glass 
figurines like owls and bunnies and all kinds of stuff and I was like okay these look like they're crystal so I unwrapped them I put them well I grabbed this little owl purse and I put them in here because I told you I didn't have anything um, to hold anything so I, I got this little owl purse I bring them up to her oh no those are Swarovski crystal those are gonna be ten dollars a piece and then um, by this time it's getting a little bit lighter and I've already come back like a second time and I'm like um that one's missing an ear oh here's its ear you know and I'm like nope that one's broken that one's broken and she's like you don't want these and I was like no not for ten dollars a piece and they're broken so she took those but then she's like well do you want the bag and I was like well yeah did you add it to my order she's like no and I was like okay and I started to pull out my wallet again and she's like oh no you can have it and I'm like thanks like you just don't think it's gonna go that way you know what I mean like when she's like oh no that no no those are expensive but then she gives you something I'm just like that just goes to show you shouldn't like judge or read people like that you know all right then I saw this little box and I opened it and it was all the little crystals and some of them are a little long but I need them I need a few for my um, candle lusters so and usually at the antique store well at these antique stores they're like five dollars a crystal thing so I thought five dollars for the whole box was pretty awesome so I got that from her what else did I get I got this enamel owl plate and I've sold a cat plate but bigger from this same handcrafted by Bavano of Cheshire, 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 Connecticut. So I've sold one like, you know, bigger on eBay. So people like those. I got that from her. I got um, your hair, what? Your hair is so pretty. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, to fix the, uh-huh. They got, cost money to replace. Heck yeah. Hi, the real, real housewife. Hello. Yeah, so this lady had a ton of owl stuff in her, like, estate. She must have collected owls or something and, like, glass pieces. Um, but I grabbed this. Grabbed, I mean, paid. It's hand-blown. I mean, it could be a float. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find like a pretty um, brass like holder or something and it'll look very crystal ballish because I like that look. So I got that. And then I picked up, this just says Japan on the bottom, but look how cute he is. I got this guy. I didn't see, but like I said, it was dark. I didn't see anything the matter with them, but oh my gosh, he's so cute, and his glaze is so nice and shiny. Got that, and then this is from the same lady. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Christina. From the same lady. Um, this is napco wear, like a planter. Um auction with me sometime oh you will message me about it we could talk um anyway so yeah we got this little owl not we i because i'm the only one that went i went so low all right then the last few things and i'll show you what i broke i had the box on the floor like i had everything on the table and then i was I had to leave the house again and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't leave all this up here. So I put it in a box. Well, Aaron was um, packaging orders and he asked Gabriel to bring the box inside. So Gabriel brings the box in and it's sitting on the floor in the dining room. And I'm trying to walk through the dining room and I have something in my hand. So I push the box aside um, with my foot. But these, these, um, I think these are vinyl floors or whatever they are the wood floors you know that you piece together they're really old so they have like they're lifting and stuff so like if you go to scoot in your chair the chair legs will get stuck like this floor needs to be replaced so the box got stuck on one of the pieces where the wood meets together 
stuck and it kind of like flipped and knocked into my other box with the glass in it. And I'm like, that didn't sound good. So I picked up this piece from her as well. It's like, um, well, she was like, oh, it's Mary Gregory and uh, for Fenton. I'm like, are you sure? Because not that I'm, I doubt it because it's very like Mary Gregory, but usually it's children, you know, or people that not ships. So I don't know. I mean, it could be, I think it is, but, um, you know, there's no stickers or anything left on it. But, um, so I picked this up and she goes, oh, it's a two piece set. I'm like, oh, it is. So I saw this turned around. Like I didn't see the painting on it. So it was the bowl that went with it. But look, it fell in the box. It like fell to the side and smacked the owl planter and I broke it. So I was very sad about that. So very sad. But these aren't um, Swarovski, but they are cute little owls, little glass owls. Got this one from her and this one. And this one. All right. And nope, that's the only thing I got. Okay, so all that that I got from her that I just showed you was $45, so I don't think that was really bad. <clears throat> Let's see. Have to watch out for owls, that's for sure. I don't feel bad shit happens. Yeah. Well. All right, then I hit a different table, and this man had, like, that's a lot of money. No? No? It's not a lot of money. Um, I hit another table and these planters and stuff were on the table and each of them had an individual price tag on them. Um, you can message me, you can email me, um, or you can like try and message me on Instagram. Those are like the quickest ways to get a hold of me. YouTube used to have like a messaging system, but it doesn't anymore. Um, but anyways, I got these planters and they were all individually marked. And he was like, oh, no, no. Those large ones are five and the small ones are three. So I got three of the larger ones that I've not seen before. So I got this one. And they're all Royal Copley. Hello, Rebecca. But he had 22 originally on this one. Hi, Cheryl. So I got that guy. And then I got this really cool, I think this is a um, ram, right? What? A ram? Or no? With the thing? Yeah. So this is a cool Royal Copley vase or planter. Do you have a question? Huh? Do you have a question? No. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, then I picked this one up. Hey, Rob. So I picked this up there and all those were five bucks. Let me put these back before I kick one over. And then I got this off of a dollar table. This guy here. He was interesting. And then the last two, no wait, I take it back. Oh wait, this is from that lady where everything was $45. The first lady is this little owl wall hanging with the little like placemat trivet type things. This was from her as well. This, so this is included in the $45. And then this is from a, like a random booth. I love the glaze on him. I'm like, if he was a cat, I would keep him. It's a bank and it has this sticker on the bottom. So I thought that was really cool. So I paid up a little bit for this guy, but I thought he was pretty neat. It looks like his, I just see it now. Like his ear tip might've been glued back on, on one of them, but he's got great colors. 
All right, so on my way back to the car when I was like, okay, now I'm leaving, guess who's there? The guy I originally went there for, the dirt floor guy. Oh, thank you. Hi, Robin. That sounds weird. That's my mom's thing. That sounds weird. <laughs> um, I originally went for him, and he hardly had anything left, but I did spy this sitting right in the dirt. This really beautiful controlled bubble owl, owl, apple, <laughs> no edit. I got this apple and then I got this one and this is signed on the bottom, but it is like rough. Like this has been moved around quite a bit on surfaces. So we have that there and that now is everything I got. That is everything that I got from the last three places that I went to last week. The flea market on Monday, and then Tuesday, that's when the kids and I went and did some shopping. Um, huh? And you would have helped him unload the truck. Yeah, I would have. Um, no, and it's funny because I'm like, I'm like, hey, you're here. Or, you know, I, I'm like, I came here to see you, but you weren't here. And he was like, oh, well, too bad you weren't here because I sold everything. And I was just like, dang, you. Shoot. What do you think? You're made out of gold? But that's his humor, I guess. Oh, oh, give her kisses for us, Miss Charlotte. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay. All right. 52 minutes. Only 46 thumbs up and all those people are watching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, guys. I think I'm going to head off here because it is Christmas Eve. I got to go track Santa. I got to go pull up my Santa tracker. Um, I got to get some, some more stuff done. Um but i wish you guys a very very merry christmas um if you guys would after this video not in the comments here but after this video go and leave a comment and just say merry christmas wish whoever you want to a merry christmas everyone in the whole world everyone's gonna see well that's wishful thinking alex not everybody's gonna see this video but you know what I'm saying. Go wish someone a Merry Christmas. Someone special to you. Someone you miss. Someone in the comments. Wish them a Merry Christmas. And I wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, yeah. I guess that's all, guys. Hope you have fun tomorrow. If you, um, I don't know. If you guys aren't with your family. I mean, I know we can't all get together. But I hope you feel the love. Because we love you. And we're, we're with you. We're with you in spirit and in, in our hearts, you know. So, like you, Virginia, we love you, girl. So, don't, don't feel too lonely because we're just like a little message away, okay? All right, guys.